Hi everyone, I'm Sarah, I'm a hospital pharmacist. Common question I get asked is about the pharmacy job market and we'll be going over that today. The data I'm using to go over today is the pharmacy demand report. It was created by AACP, American Association College of Pharmacy, specifically from the Pharmacy Workforce Center. So the Pharmacy Workforce Center is a nonprofit corporation comprised of nine national pharmacy professional organizations developed by the Pharmacy Workforce Center to provide a measurement of pharmacist demand in the United States. This information is used to you know, assess the trends for various career opportunities for pharmacists. This report also pulls data for pharmacy technicians. So, but for this video, I'm only going to focus on the pharmacist section. So they haven't released the entire 2023 yearly report quite yet, but they did just release the last three quarters. Specifically, they just released quarter three. So first, let's do a quick overview of the results, and then we'll go dive deeper into the details. So overall, there has been 60,882 job postings for pharmacists through the first three quarters of 2023. Highlights include 11,329 job postings were reported for the first quarter, 21,567 postings were reported for the second quarter, and 12,771 postings were reported for the third quarter. The highest number of job postings were in the southern part of the country, followed by the west, midwest, and then northeast. California had the highest number of job postings of around 7,082, followed by Texas, Florida, then New York, Illinois, and then Pennsylvania. South Dakota, Hawaii, and Alaska had less than 200 job postings. The MSA, which stands for Metropolitan Statistical Area, the MSAs with the highest number of job postings in the first quarter were New York, Newark, Los Angeles, and Boston. In the second quarter, it was New York, Newark, Chicago, and Boston. And then for the third quarter, it was again New York, Newark, Chicago, and Philadelphia. The highest number of postings were for the retail pharmacist position of 31,870, followed by the clinical pharmacist position, which was 15,652,000, followed by the clinical pharmacist, which was 15,652, and then hospital pharmacists at 5,695. And then there was other category of other pharmacists, and that was 4,646. And a pharmacy director position was 3,019. So for job postings in the top 25 metropolitan statistical areas, in quarter three, the top one was Chicago, Illinois. They had about 174 job postings. Right below that was New York, about 164. Third place is Houston at 120. And Los Angeles, 107. Boston, 106. And then Miami at 101. Just for time's sake, I was gonna go over the top couple cities. This makes a lot of sense because a lot of these are big major cities. There's a lot more people, so a lot more jobs. Now for hospital pharmacists and job postings in the top 25 metropolitan statistical areas, number one is New York or Newark at 130 postings for hospital pharmacists. Right under that is Oklahoma City at 41. Third is Houston at 39. Right under that is Philadelphia at 36. Then Los Angeles, Long Beach at 35, and then San Francisco at 34, and Dallas, Fort Worth, 31. For the other pharmacist category, that includes compounding pharmacists, informatics, infusion, long-term care, nuclear pharmacists, and oncology. With those, let's check out quarter three of 2023. Number one is San Antonio, Texas. Oh, 82 job postings. New York, Newark at 72. Then Houston at 51, Baltimore also at 51, New Orleans at 42, Boston, Cambridge, Newton area at 41, and so on. Now let's take a look at pharmacy directors if you're more interested in a supervisor role. For 2023, during the third quarter, number one is Houston at 43 job postings, Louisville, Jefferson County and 39, Billings 31, New York, Newark area, 29. Los Angeles, Long Beach at 25. Dallas, Fort Worth, 24. 
Okay, now let's go into retail. So for 2023, the, during the third quarter, the top uh, job posting area, city, metropolitan area is New York, New Jersey, Delphia at 313, Washington, Arlington at 271, Los Angeles, Long Beach, 258, Boston, Cambridge, Newton area at 255. Now let's just see what the data says when you combine all the different pharmacist jobs, uh, which of the metropolitan areas are the most popular. Top one, no surprise, New York, Newark, Jersey City, 1,056 job postings. Chicago at 508. Philadelphia at 475. Los Angeles, Long Beach at 452. Boston, Cambridge, Newton, 446. Washington, Arlington, 402. San Francisco, Oakland, Berkeley, 331. And the list goes on. What's great about the Pharmacy Demand Report is that they also break down how many licensed pharmacists there are in each state and how many job postings are released each quarter. Now for time purposes, I'm only going to focus on the major states with the highest MSAs such as California, New York, and Texas. So starting off with California, as I mentioned earlier with all these major states, yeah, they have a lot of job postings, but they also have the highest amount of pharmacists overall. 48,915 pharmacists. Now, the thing is, we don't know if how many of them are searching for jobs, how many are already employed. So it's kind of hard to say. So for clinical pharmacists and hospital pharmacists, it's roughly about the same. The largest amount was retail pharmacists at about 3,000 or so. Now, next on the list we have is Texas. So overall, the number of pharmacists that are licensed in Texas as of the third quarter of 2023 was about 36,154 pharmacists. And it looks like overall in Texas is a little bit different compared to California. Um, the amount of hospital pharmacist job positions and other pharmacist positions are um, a lot less and are about comparable. They both are about 387, 383. Whereas the clinical pharmacy position is roughly about the same as California, about 1,000. And the amount of retail pharmacist jobs are a lot less compared to California. So California earlier, there was about 3,000 or so. In Texas, there was about 1,750. Now let's move over to New York. So the total number of licensed pharmacists in New York is 29,564. And it looks like um, hospital pharmacists and other pharmacists are pretty similar to how it is for Texas, roughly about 300 or so. Whereas for clinical pharmacists, it's a little bit less than the other two states um, at about 529 total clinical pharmacist positions. And then for retail, it's roughly about the same as Texas, 1442. Now, I don't know much about pharmacy on the East Coast, but I do know on the West Coast, such as California, um, a lot of clinical pharmacists have a lot of scope. So it makes sense that there is a lot more hospital pharmacists, a lot more clinical pharmacist positions over here. So overall, it seems comparing, you know, California versus Texas versus New York, there's a lot more clinical and hospital jobs over in California. Or it seems like for New York, uh, they have a lot more retail pharmacist positions as opposed to all the other positions. And then for Texas, clinical pharmacists and retail is about almost comparable. Overall, this is just the trend for 2023, the third quarter, things could change. So time will tell. It'd be nice if this report could tell us the number of new pharmacists or how many um, pharmacists are looking for jobs. Just to get an idea of competition. So with this overall number, it's a little bit hard to say. We don't know which ones are already working, which ones are searching.